This is my prediction for the next 500 million plus football transfers, what we could see happen. Let's go. Number one on that list, Victor Osman of Napoli. The 24-year-old Nigerian has already scored eight goals in 17 appearances this season. He's into his fourth season with Napoli, playing 119 matches, scoring 67 goals, and he won them that league title in the 22-23 season. Now, he's already been linked with the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea. It came as a shock earlier, a couple months back, he signed a new deal. However, it has been reported that that new contract came with a 112 million release clause. So I could 100% see Osman being one of the five next players to leave their club for 100 plus million. Number two on the list, Evan Ferguson of Brighton. At just 19 years old, he's already proven to be potentially Brian's next star. And Brighton keep on producing them. He's recently signed a new contract, what ties him down to 2029, which just clearly shows that Brian want to protect all of his value. And he's already being valued by Brighton at 100 plus million now the key thing about this particular transfer i believe comes in brighton's power and ability to sell all of their big talents for big money they've just got 115 plus million for caicedo they managed to get 15 plus million for ben white to arsenal so they know how to sell their big talents and more importantly that striker market has not got great depth. If you really think about it, we've already spoke about Osman. You've got Mbappe. You potentially got Isak at Newcastle. After that, that striker market starts to go downhill. So I could 100% see in him potentially being snapped up for 100 plus million in the near future, for sure. Number three on the list is Bakayo Saka. At the ripe age of 22, he has already played 259 games for Arsenal, scoring 69 and assisting the exact same amount. Now, it's incredible that a 22-year-old has that level of output and consistency. Not to mention his star performances in the Euros for England, unfortunately missing that penalty in the final too early. But that aside, he dragged England almost single-handedly to that final and he is definitely one of England's biggest talents alongside Drew Bellingham and potentially Arsenal's also biggest talent. Now I think the key for this potential transfer lies in the lack of success he is seeing at Arsenal. You know last season they came super close to winning the title, they fell short over the last eight or so games this season hasn't started great. They've already been knocked out of two domestic competitions. I find it hard to believe that they will win the league or the Champions League this season. So a star player wants to win trophies at some point, And I generally believe he would potentially give Arsenal a couple of more years. And if he doesn't get him his hands on some big major honours, he would definitely be ready to make a move to a bigger club who are going to challenge. Now, you've got the likes of Real Madrid, Man City, Liverpool, Bayern. They all have the means and they will all snap him up in a heartbeat, especially if that contract starts to tick down. Number four on the list, Jamal Musiala, the 20-year-old German international Originally with Chelsea's academy before joining Bayern Munich back in the summer of 2019. He started off with Bayern's under-17 setup. In a year's time, he already made his first team debut. The 20-year-old already has well over 100 appearances for Bayern Munich. And he's absolutely bossing games at the minute. That last game against Hoffenheim, go and watch that back. Sensational, scoring two goals. You know, 
the world is definitely at his feet. Again, key thing I see with this potential transfer is the lack of attacking midfielders in world football at the minute. You know, you can almost put them on one hand who are ready, the elite attacking midfielders in world football at the minute. You know, the likes would say you've got Odegaard who plays in the 10. You've got Pedri, Gavi at Barcelona. You've got Jude Bellingham, but they're already at big clubs, right? Not to say Bayern's not a big club, but I definitely think there could be a step up to the likes of Real Madrid, to the likes of a big club within inside of the Premiership. Why? The Prem teams also play, play, also pay better money. So I could 100% see in Musiala joining that 100 million plus transfer club he is definitely an upgrade for a lot of teams that i just mentioned number five on the list goes to william saliba the 23 year old center back for arsenal french international for me a hundred percent is the best young central defender in world football today and bar any injury he's only gonna keep on getting better and better he had a rough start when he first joined from Saint Etienne. He got loaned back. Everyone thought, okay, this this is the next guy. This is the next Van Dijk. Arsenal don't bring him back. They loan him again to Nice. That's then followed by another loan to Marseille. There's reports that him and Arteta have had a falling out. Is he not gonna come back? Is he gonna go to PSG? He ended up coming back last season and nearly carried Arsenal to a league title. And I believe if he didn't get injured, they potentially would have won that league last year. That's how pivotal this guy is and how good he is. Not to mention, it's Saliba and Guardival of Man City, for me, who are the next two emerging talents. So, you know, Guardival has already got his big move, I would say, to Man City. So I can't see him moving on and City tend to be successful. So he's going to get trophies there. The exact same problem I mentioned with Saka is going to come down to Arsenal's lack of success. If they don't start winning those major honours, Big clubs are then start looking at Saliba and saying, hey, come over to us. We'll get you a league title. We'll get you in that Champions League final. And I could just picture it. The likes of PSG, they've got the money. You know, just from an optics standpoint, how good would it look for PSG to have France's best young talent and the world's best young centre-back within their team playing back in France. So I could definitely see that script of PSG and I could also see, you know, Real Madrid, Rudiger is not getting any younger. So he could definitely be a direct replacement for Rudiger. So this one, not far-fetched at all for me. He's easily worth 100 million right now. And if Arsenal don't start winning, he would definitely be on that list to be a 100 million plus transfer. But let me know your thoughts and comments below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Peace.